Port of Baltimore became a hub for cargo and sailing vessels beginning in 1706. Starting in 1925, the stevedores at Ruckert frequently worked these ships that were dependent on wind at their facilities in Fells Point. In 1942, War in the Atlantic would force the last of these sailing ships to divert to Baltimore and discharge its cargo at Jackson's Wharf. When America entered World War II, business at Rucker Terminals and across Baltimore's maritime trades changed significantly. A large portion of Rucker's repeat and steady business was gone almost overnight. Nitrate shipments from Chile ceased because of the new danger from U-boats prowling our east coast hunting for cargo ships. But Ruckert was still able to help a mariner in distress that wasn't one of their regular customers. On December 6th, the day before the attack on Pearl Harbor, the Abraham Rydberg, a sailing vessel from Sweden, left Santos, Brazil headed for Boston, laden with a cargo of cottonseed meal fertilizer. This full-rigged ship was the official Swedish training vessel for their merchant fleet with 42 cadets on board. The Rydberg can be seen in action in this 1938 newsreel. The weather was foul as they sailed north, but the larger danger came from the U-boats who had just been unleashed by Admiral Donitz in Operation Drumbeat to stock and destroy ships along our coast. The area off Cape Hatteras was particularly dangerous as the cargo ships were unescorted and the U-boats could use the lighthouse as a reference point to guide them. A number of ships were torpedoed or successfully attacked at night on the surface. By the time he reached the Chesapeake Bay, the Rydberg's captain decided to seek refuge and discharge his cargo in Baltimore. He would pass by the Bethlehem Fairfield shipyard where the new Liberty ships were being built and launched. After over two grueling months at sea, Rydberg came up the Patapsco River on an approach much like training vessels still do today. Many tall ships have come here for Sail Baltimore sponsored events, which is one of the few times the public gets to see these majestic vessels up close anymore. Here's the view from the top of the rigging, passing Ruckert and Fort McHenry. A very similar experience to what the Rydberg crew had when they arrived in 1942. For over 250 years, cargo ships had sailed into the port of Baltimore and conducted business there. On March 15, 1942, the 316 foot long Abraham Rydberg would be the last to arrive and do that. Stevedores at Ruckert would unload 68,000 bags of cottonseed weighing 3,400 tons, taking them over two weeks at Jackson's Wharf. Norman Ruckert would observe, while the vessel was unloaded, the ship's officers held daily classes for the 42 cadets. The mornings were spent repairing sails and renewing ropes. Then the decks were swabbed until they glistened. After lunch, instructions were given on navigation, compass, and use of the sextant. The Rydberg would remain docked in Baltimore for a year before sailing up the CND Canal, ending the era of full-rigged sailing ships working cargo in Baltimore.